Are we doing this? Okay, we're recording. We're live. Guys, what's up? YouTubers, fellow reefers, Fragbox TV. I think that's what we're leaning towards. We talked about it, we saw all the comments. Thank you very much for all the different ideas. It's simple, it's nice, it's to the point. We're Fragbox girls. It's kind of like TV, it's YouTube, it's a channel. I don't know, we'll decide soon, but I think that's what we're leaning towards. We might call it Fragbox TV. Anyways, we're gonna try something new today. We wanna do um, product review. So we're always getting new stuff in the store, uh, sometimes taking stuff off the shelves, or stuff gets improved or discontinued, or stuff like that. Anyways, this is kind of a cool new one from Auto Aqua, and it's supposed to make your life easier it's an automatic stir for when you're doing testing. So a lot of the good test kits on the market, kind of like this Aquaforest alkalinity one, they rely on tritation. We'll talk about it next, yeah. So tritation is basically color changing to see, uh, to test your water, to get a value. So we're, Tia's gonna try this out. We just opened it. This is our initial first impressions. We have no idea if it's any good. But yeah, we'll record it and kind of talk about it. And uh, as we get new products in the store, we'll kind of do these new product highlights just to sort of mix it up. I'll talk about this one over here next and this other cool uh, RODI shut off thing that we're gonna try. But anyways, okay, Tia, give it a shot. We're gonna test right. alkalinity. Which system are we doing? This is our main system. Main coral system. So yeah. we're gonna test the alk over here and you're gonna see at the same time what we're running our alkalinity at in our large coral system bed. Okay. okay. So. This time. is the Aquaforest Alk Test Kit. So Here's this thing's kind of cool. We used to have one like this, but this runs off a USB. USB C. So it's USB rechargeable. So once this is fully charged up in 120 minutes, uh, you'll be able to unplug it. No need for batteries. Okay. It's a little magnet in there, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. What do we think so far? Is it any good? Is it gimmicky? Oh, uh, I'm trying to zoom in. Hey, we got a new camera coming, so I know that sometimes the video quality is not the best, but bear with us. Alkalinity, very important for saltwater tanks. If you don't know what it's at, go out and get a test kit. That's kind of cool. It's spinning quick, huh? Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Is it easier than doing it by hand? Way easier. Worth 30 bucks? Uh, worth 30 bucks. Worth 30 bucks. Be nice if it came with some extra little uh, magnets. Yeah, this is gonna get lost 100%. It almost got lost like four times. Okay, today. so when do you stop? Because I would keep going. I would go another drop. Uh, yeah, I keep going until it's a bright pink. Oh, like that. I, I would stop. That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. There she goes. Well mixed, yeah. Easy. Super easy. Yeah, I think it's worth it. That's cool. So, what's our LCAP? Let's see here. This is our preferred. 7.6. 7.6, so that's what we're shooting for here in um, in the store. That's kind of our lucky number, 7.7 .7 is what we want to keep it at. I really, really like this test kit from Aquaforce. It's very, very easy to use, and it's cool because inside each batch, you get this little reference solution, um, of like ICP tested water, so you can essentially test the test kit. Uh, let's open it, actually, is it in here? On this vial, they guarantee that the ALK in this little bottle is 7.3. So you can go ahead and use your test kit and test this to make sure you're getting 7.3. So you get to see that you're testing correctly and that your test kit's off. Sometimes test kits are off. They're not 100% perfect. Uh, I've had test kits go bad or just bum test kits. So I really like this brand just because it's very easy to use, especially with this new little toy. So yeah, do we like it? What's the- So what's far the, so good. So far so good. Okay, so maybe we can do an update on it. Who knows if it's reliable long-term, but it's a pretty cool way to test. It's pretty hard sometimes, right Diggs? Diggs, do you like it? Yeah, Diggs likes it. Okay, other new product highlight. What is this? Hmm, ammonium chloride. Why do we need this? Why would somebody buy this from Dr. Cycle Tim's? your tank without fish food or a fish. Yeah, so when you're cycling a new tank, you need some sort of ammonia to get it going, to start the cycle, to feed that denitrifying bacteria. So Dr. Tim's, very good brand. So um, this essentially is the food for starting bacteria. So you start your tank, you get your rock, your sand, your water, everything up and running. You're gonna to wanna to add denitrifying bacteria. So Dr. Tim's bacteria is quite good. It's called the uh, one and only. There's a bunch of them out there. And then this essentially is the food source for that bacteria. So if you already have a tank cycle, this is a pointless product for you. You're never gonna use it. This is just for people that are watching that are maybe starting a new tank, something new that we offer. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. And then one more cool thing we got in. I haven't tried it yet, but this is kind of cool. Oh, sorry, upside down. Oh crap. Sorry, Diggs. Um, yeah, Auto Aqua. This is um, 
flood guardian. So basically this is a shut off if you've ever flooded your house or a bucket or ruined your hardwood floors um, for leaving your RODI on. So typically you run it into a reservoir or some sort of bucket. So this clever invention here has this cool sort of laser sensor that you set, sorry, at the, uh, the top of your bucket or reservoir and a solenoid valve that will shut off the water supply so that you don't ruin your floors. Uh, I've done it, I don't know how many times. Now we're running the Apex and we have controllers and float valves and all that fun stuff. A float valve actually would work too, work pretty well. This here costs, correction, sorry, I got the brand wrong. It's called XP, XP Aqua, not Auto Aqua from like the other brand. Um, but yeah, this thing can save your hardwood floor, save your house, save you some headaches. Uh, it runs about 90 bucks. It's a little bit expensive, but uh, if you've ever flooded your place by leaving the RO on, or if you're forgetful like me, forget to set timers, you're a little bit deaf, it's definitely worth the 90 bucks. It's going to shut off the water, it's going to save you a lot, a lot of headache. I can't tell you how many times I've done it, how many times customers have told us they've done it. Um, yeah, new product, 90 bucks, that's our showcase for today. Just want, oh, we'll keep doing these as we get kind of new stuff in the store. I love talking about um, the gear and the hardware and the tech that kind of goes into it. It's part of the hobby, like almost like a, a sub hobby, you know, it's fun keeping the corals and the fish and all the live stuff. But I think um, hobbyists in general are drawn to, to this hobby just because there's so much gear and tech that goes with it and upgrading that's, for me, it's half of the fun. But anyways, I'm gonna put our contact info at the end of the video. I'm really, really leaning towards Fragbox TV. Um, if you like that name, I guess, let us know in the bottom. I really like the engagement. I love hearing from you guys. Love the comments. Uh, my name is March. Again, phone number, email, everything at the end, and happy reefing.